Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy and today our expert trainer will be discussing about how you can provision AWS infrastructure with Terraform. So let's get into the video. What do we need? So we're going to create our first resource, the topic for the day, resource creation. Resource creation on AWS. So the first thing that we will do is install uh, or let's say simple we are going to create it so create ec2 instance let's start with the very basic first so what are the requirements that we need for creating an ec2 instance yep any thoughts what do you need if you are working on an aws console and if you're going to create directly from the console what do you need for creating an ec2 instance so let's jot it down first of all we need an aws account which already we have created key pair so we will be using the iam user which will be having the keys okay and then code secrets that we will write we will define our region where you want to create it and uh, when it comes to ect we need the ami id correct that which ami you want to create so these are the requirements that we are going to fulfill when we are creating our ec2 instance okay so for creating this first thing is what we will do we will be first of all creating an iam user on our console okay so to create an iam user and then we will be also keep the uh, keys for that okay so let's go ahead and create that okay so let's go to console. I'm already logged in. You can search for IAM services here. It will be taken to IAS dashboard. And I have one user. I'm going to create another user. And uh, I'll give the user name, let's say, as K21 user okay and i'm going with access keys so we'll select access keys and then click on permissions okay so it's a simple uh, aws stuff we're creating an k2 uh, one user and uh, giving the access key and then we will give this user the permission So we will attach the existing policies directly and we will give the administrator access to this user okay so that can you do anything you can give in production as specific to your requirement that whatever the job requirement is based upon that you can give the credentials right now i'm giving the full access okay just giving a tag for this user as uh, environment testing okay i'll review it and create the user fine so this is my uh, user created now i'll just create one notepad file where i will store my keys okay so first thing is i'm taking my access key storing it here copy the access key and then i'll take my secret access key and i'll create this copy and save it okay and what's my username i'll put the username also here i am user Username is K21 user. Just to confirm, yes, K21 user. So it's a good practice to keep your access key uh, because in case if your access key is lost, a secret key basically, access key we can fetch any time, but secret will be a big task. We'll have to generate it new. Okay, so I'll save this file on desktop with the name as uh, user K21 user keys. K21 user 
keys. Okay, done. I'll also download the CSV file for the reference. Okay, fine. All of you, please complete till here and create a user with administrative access and then please store the access key and secret keys, please. Let's launch our VS code. Let's move ahead to the next uh, programming part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder as we have done. Uh, let me check if I have that. Okay, no. So I'll create a new folder on desktop and give it a name as K21 AWS. I'm going to launch this folder, open this folder into my VS code. K21 AWS. Okay, just so that I can easily navigate through my files and I will use the same folder now for creating my files, configuration files, everything. Okay, fine. Now inside this folder, I just a quick check. I hope everybody has already installed the HashiCorp extension. In case if you haven't, please go ahead and install your uh, Terraform HashiCorp extension so that the syntax highlighting and auto completion becomes easier for you. Okay. So going to create a first uh, first let me create a folder inside this as day two and inside day two we'll get a file so always our file name should be ending with dot tf extension that's very important okay dot tf extension you should be having your terraform configurations with dot tf extension okay so the what are the accepted extensions accepted configurational extensions is it only dot tf or do we have something else if you remember i told you dot tf dot json is also acceptable okay so just a quick uh, review dot tf dot json is also fine okay so the first thing that we will be doing is we will provide our provider information so provider our provider name is aws okay and then in AWS, where do you want to create the resource? So we will provide it using region. I prefer use US2 because I don't get much resource restrictions there. You can use your own choice. I'll prefer to go with East US2 that is in Ohio. Okay, region is East US2. And then it also needs your access key and your secret key your secret key so both of them we have copied let's put it here so my access key and my secret key this is my access key I'll copy it and then my secret key both of them should be provided as a string so provide them inside quotations double quotes okay okay so <laughs> We have given the details. Let's save it. Let's open our terminal. All of you can open a terminal. You can open it from here at the top terminal and then new terminal and run the command. Our first command. Let's first of all go to the respective directory CD day two because my Terraform configuration file is inside day two. Okay, so you should be in the folder where you have your Terraform configuration files. Now you run the command Terraform in it. And let's download the provider plugin. You can see it's going for 4.25 version latest. So it has downloaded the provider 4.25. That was the latest provider of the AWS 4.25 provider version. Okay. After this, you can see on left hand side, as we have seen in the first day, dot Terraform folder is created where we have the provider information you can also see this in file explorer it will be more better to understand you see we got this file dot terraform created if you open this inside providers you see you have the provider information from aws 4.25 okay okay so we will continue with the resource creation now so we will say resource and the resource you want to create is aws underscore instance this is the syntax how you define your resource type and then you can give your name here so let's say my ec2 
and as mentioned it needs an ami and it needs a uh, instance type instance type okay so instance type i am saying i want to go for micro and ami let's take it from the console so let's go here console let's type here ec2 so it's in north virginia i am looking for ohio east us so i'll change it to east us2 so that i can get okay i'm taking i'm looking for the ami okay from here so i changed it to ohio because that's what i'm using in my terraform configuration us east2 now here i can go to simply say launch instance i'm just taking a is ami reference from here okay so there are many amis here so i'll say amis so let's take this one for this so this is the ami for this copy this this is the image that we are going to use okay amazon machine image ami so i want to create using this ami so i'll copy this and then i'm going to paste it okay now this is simple thing that we have defined now we have done terraform in it already we have so if i do it again see it will show me that provider is already there reusing the provider okay so you don't need to do in it again and again in one directory you can just do it once and that's more than enough okay that's based upon architecture one is a amd processor based architecture one is intel based architecture so you can select any one okay ami ids might differ from your different locations okay so you will have to be careful that which one you are using okay so next thing is now i'm going to run the next command that is terraform plan okay so what are the three commands that we do first command is we run first thing terraform in it then we do terraform plan and then we do terraform apply these are the three commands that we have the workflow the workflow how you do it so first you do in it that we have done okay this is my step 1 okay then this is step 2 and then this is step 3 okay but this is only one time process one time process in folder until you change provider information okay now what is plan that is what we are going to do next command terraform plan so what plan will do is plan will is like a dry run it will check it will connect to my aws using this keys okay and will check whether this instance is running or not okay so it will check and then if it is running it will show me that what is the information if it is not running it will show me the plans that these resources will be created okay so let's hit enter and see what happens terraform plan now it will go and connect to my provider now why it's why it's saying no configurations because i haven't saved the file so i should save the file so save the file and after this i'll run terraform plan so you see it says that one plan to add that means this instance will be created it's not running on my console you can see as of now i don't have any instance running here i don't have any instances running here that's why it's saying that this plan will be created if i have this instance running it will show me that instance is already running no plans to create 
it will say that infrastructure matches your configuration zero to add zero to jump. but now it is going to add that's why it says plan one to add okay so that's what the terraform plan so with the terraform plan you can see that how you can check that what changes will be done to your provider to your infrastructure without executing it okay without executing it now for exit we have next command that we will run now that is called terraform apply terraform apply okay terraform apply now this command will now execute it will create an instance for me let's check hit enter now when you run this command it will first of all again prompt you for the plans and then will ask you for a confirmation you see it's saying that one plan to add do you want to perform these actions only yes will be accepted so any other input except yes this will terminate this action so i'm saying yes i want to create this enter and now you will see it's connecting to my aws and creating an ec2 instance so now from terraform you will see an ec2 will be running on aws let's wait and see so you see it says that resource added so now if you check on the aws console ec2 and you see in instances you see running ec2 instances now running with this instance id and t2 micro which i just gave so it's running now so guys i hope you really liked our session if you are somebody who is completely new and you want to study the exam content from start to finish then please check out our free class at k21academy.com forward slash terraform02 and this free class will be covering a lot of topics like cloud and devops overview cloud automation tools terraform cloud formation ansible chef puppet infrastructure automation iac terraform for beginners what why and who should be learning terraform certification extending terraform with ansible chef puppet etc we'll be giving you a demo of vm deployment in aws cloud using terraform and the best part is we'll be covering a lot of job opportunities and how you can get better pay in your terraform job so all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash terraform02 and click on book your free seat now select your event date when you're you're available moving ahead add your name your email address your phone number and click on yes proceed ahead now you'll be seeing this kind of link at the extreme right save this link Add it to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, take care and keep learning.